It was a bore that ended with a bang. And now that Juan Soto is a New York Yankee, baseball's winter meetings largely serve their purpose to pave the way for what should be a wild week or two of player movement. Soto's trade from the San Diego Padres to the Yankees, finalized late Wednesday night, culminated roughly a week's worth of negotiations and settled the second most significant piece of offseason business. Shoei Otani, you're up. The greatest free agent in baseball history was not seen in Nashville, even as a jumpy media corps and ravenous fans made sure he was plenty hurt. He'll get his half billion dollars soon enough. For now, let's break down the winners and losers from three ish days in musicity. Thiel certainly sell some tickets. Juan Soto and Aaron Judge hitting back to back is punishing just to think about. A healthy Giancarlo Stanton rounding out that power trio would be the most visually imposing middle of the order of almost anyone's lifetime. And if Yoshinobu Yamamoto, the fabulous pitcher from Japan, is next to join the crew, it's already an absurdly fantastic winter. Yet the Yankees will still be looking over their shoulder, hoping their usual potholes don't swallow them up. As great as Soto and Yamamoto are, contention in the American League East and the playoffs, still probably, relies on the health and effectiveness of left-hander Carlos Rodin. Michael King, shipped to San Diego in the package, was going to be a huge part of the pitching staff, either in rotation or in what's now a sketchier bullpen, although market reinforcements are available. Otani may well end up in the division with the Toronto Blue Jays, meaning the Yankees are playing for third place on paper by opening day. And the Yankees will likely have a Soto-sized hole in the lineup by next year, simply because he's a free agent. But hey, they spent a lot of money and won some headlines, and GM Brian Cashman's job is probably safe for another decade. Regardless of the statistical likelihood that October delivers yet another crushing blow. Shoei Otani. Sure. Maybe the two-way superstar spent the week as the protagonist in a remake of The Man Who Wasn't There. But Otani didn't have to show up in Opryland to make an impact. And there were enough smoke signals to indicate he's going to do just fine. The man inspired subterfuge from the Toronto Blue Jays, who refused to reveal GM Ross Atkins' location, placing him in front of a plain white wall for a Zoom call after a likely meeting with Otani. You think fans are being held hostage by the saga? Imagine Atkins. He inspired a rare jolt of honesty from Dodgers manager Dave Roberts more on that in a bit. And some righteous indignation from Cubs GM Jed Hoyer, who refused to believe Chicago was on the periphery of the chase.